Ho oh, hum. So, I was cleaning the valve cover up today and cleaned it all off really good. And I filled the inside up with water, turned it upside down, and water drips out right here, which means the weld is not solid, that there's a pinhole. Um, but I'll be damned if I'm taking it back to that guy. <laughs> He's already done enough, I think. Um, so, I've got a JB Weld, a metal epoxy all over his work there to make sure that it's sealed. i still got to install my baffle. Uh, put some Loctite on the screws. I think I'm developing carpal tunnel. My thumb uh, is numb often now. And sometimes when I go to grasp things or squeeze things, I get a real sharp shooting pain right there. So, yeah, getting old. I don't know why this stuff gets a bad rap. I've always had excellent luck with it. Anyway, take your popsicle stick and your disc sander and just make a little chisel wedge. <laughs> Epoxy comes in a blister pack, and this makes a nice mixing tray. You can warm it in your hand, knead it a little bit. You have to perforate the metal covering with the cap. You invert the cap and just poke a hole in it. For this repair, I'm going to put down oh, like an inch and a half of this stuff, and lay equal band beside it, same length, thickness. Take our mixing paddle applicator and we blend it together. So you just want to spread the mixed gray epoxy into the seam that you wish to strengthen. And using that paddle you can push it up against the seam, remove the excess. When you're happy with the application, Take your rag and clean off your stick. Then you can reuse it for the next application. Just take your another clean rag and go in and forcefully clean off excess from the areas that don't need it. Just wipe it neat again. Squeeze out equal portions of the white and the black. Mix them together. For some spots, it may be necessary to go in with a Q-tip and remove the excess that you don't want. So that's looking pretty good. I think that will fill the voids that he had. Um, should be leak free now. And like I say, this stuff holds up pretty well to oils and fuels. I actually used it in an intake manifold once and after a decade of gasoline pouring over it, the piece was still there. And if you detect a little void that needs a little filling, you can always use the stick from uh, incense to make really good applicators for detail work so you can smooth your compound into the joint. So the epoxy it remains in kind of a liquid state for many many hours so you want to be conscious of how the part is placed otherwise it may flow away from the joint that you want so you kind of want like gravity take it into the joints where you want it to be, where it should reside. So I'm going to angle this valve cover up a little like that so it'll sink down into that corner. But that's, that's a pretty good application to use it as a sealant. The JB Weld two-part metal epoxy. You do get a little on your fingers. The epoxy metal JB Weld. You can clean it up with solvent real quick before it sets up. It could be acetone, lack of thinner, even gasoline. You can save your little applicator paddle you created with your JB weld. Just put it in your adhesive drawer. Unfortunately, the mixing tray can't be reused. So I'll just leave this the way it is 
for 24 hours and let that fully cure. So sometime on Friday, part will be ready to install.